Hello everyone and welcome to the final installment of the wrap up. I'm Brianna Mellon alongside DJ Ezel. Can you believe it? Our last show. That's right. Opening up with by district round of the playoffs. So pretty exciting time. Yeah, certainly is. Well, let's get things started as always with our pick 'em games. Pick six brought to you by Domino's. DJ, what were our games today? Uh, we had Nazareth McLean, Randall Lovett, Coronado, and Bushland taking on Greenwood. That's right. And Midland Greenwood, I should say. And you can see me and you both chose Nazareth there. Matt chose McLean. Phil Woodall also chose McLean. And Lance going with Nazareth as well. You and I are the only backers for the Raiders tonight. Everyone else liked the Mustangs. And across the board, we're all fans of Bushland. That's right. Let's get things. Oh, sorry. You the sixth man. Let's see what you guys chose. Bushland, Randall, and Nazareth. Yeah, they agreed with us. Yeah, so we'll see later in the show who was correct. Well, let's start things off in 1A. We had a top 10 matchup. Number 7, Nazareth, taking on number 6, McLean, at Valley High School. And then the Fours and Valley played last night, and the Happy Cowboys hosted the Anton Bulldogs. Yeah, last year, Happy crushed home 78-8 to in the first round. Mm -hmm. and of course, they went on to the state semifinals. But the Bulldogs vastly improved this year, going unbeaten in district play. Let's head out to the Happy Corral. We're to pick this one up in the first quarter. As Colton McCarley going to take the pitch. That's just too easy there. 20 yards to the house. A little later in the first. Happy's defense coming to play. Going to step up and crack. And out comes the ball. Cowboys going to scoop it up. And that's another score. Actually, no, they'd be down at the one. And here comes the score. As Justin Bressler going to capitalize on it with an easy one yard run. And a little later, McCarley, we've called his name all season. Gonna call it again. This time, he's going back to pass. He's gonna launch it up to a wide open Jackson Davis. Oh. Nice little move there. And just gonna strut on tall. into the end zone. Look how tall that kid is. Happy gets the big one in this one. 56 to 8. They're gonna face ropes in the regionals. Yeah, that's right, because uh, the six man going on to the regionals, they yeah, skip over the no area. No area around in six man. Take out to Valley. Nazareth. Taking on McLean in the second quarter, Trayton McLean. And they catch and rush in for a TD. I'll make it 34-22 Naz. Now McLean catches and gonna dance off the defense. He throws it to Aiden Moore. He gets the catch. His little quick move fights his way into the end zone. Now Ben Crockett gonna get the pitch. And he's off. But then he gets tripped up here at the five. Next play, Crockett. Going to float one up for Jaden Ashbire. Oh, he makes so. the killer catch. Whoa, right there in front of our cameraman. That would make it 42-41. But this one would get blown out there later in the game. McLean going to defeat the Swiss. 89-49. As I mentioned, moving on to the regional round facing Knox City. All right, going to take on the Follette, taking on the Owls of Silverton. We're going to pick this up in the first quarter. Follette already up 8 to nothing. This is the second drive here for Follette. Christian Barber He's going to look. He goes, you know what? There's a lot of room out in front of me. I think I'll keep it myself. Hits up the sideline. Nice little oh, leap there. Gets it down right in front of the goal line. Now, a few plays later, Fabian Gordillo going to throw it out to Barber. He juke multiple defenders before taking it in. No, he won't. That was a quick touchdown. Shot sheet's wrong there, folks. Sorry about that. This one might be it as we're going up <laughs> with a nice little stiff arm. And then there's a juke move. Okay, we just missed a play in there somehow. But yes, and now he's going to take it all the way down, 60 yards for the Panthers. Now in the red zone. Cordillo going to toss it off to Jeremy Earsley. He's just going to toss it on out there. Makes it 48 or 16 nothing there. Then we're going to get it 48 nothing, Paulette. They're going to face Peter Sir Petersburg in the regionals. All right, well, this one was played last night. LaFour is taking on Valley in the second quarter. Valley, we got, a, we got an exciting touchdown for you guys. They're going to take, not touchdown, exciting highlight. Valley takes the kneel uh, to end the game because we got there uh, a little bit late. A little late. You know, you got to learn when Valley's playing, get there early. Yeah, that's certainly right. Valley going to win 59 to 6. They'll face Witherall in the Keep Regionals. All right, let's check in on some other 1A scores. Now, these are a preview, actually, of our, our games tomorrow. Tomorrow's from yeah. Taps, yeah. Some Taps games. See, Sanjak, they're down in Dallas taking on Lake Hill, while Holy Cross, this one's going to be in Lubbock as they take on Weatherford Christian. So we'll have you updated on those as we get the scores. That's right. Well, now it's time to hand out some hardware. Hit of the Week brought to you by Jimmy Fincher.
This one coming out of our game from yesterday, played at Dick Bivens, Stratford, and Floyd Data. Rosendo Reno going to run right into Britt McQuitty with the huge tackle for a loss. McQuitty ain't quitting, folks. He isn't. Boom, to the ground. That'd be your hit of the week. Let's look at play. All right, this one coming out of Randall and Coronado, Jashawn Barrow. Look at this one, making it look easy all the way to the house with the 61 yard touchdown. Is he out there by himself? Or by what? himself, yeah. No one else around like him. The only one on the field. He had a monster game tonight, but we'll get those highlights a little bit later. But John Sean Barrow there, huge run there. We didn't put this one in slow mo because, well, he just runs literally untouched. Yeah, that'd everybody. be painfully long, so, I think. Uh, there, there is your uh, play of the week coming out of Randall with Jashawn Barrow. All right, well, that'll do it for our 1A block. Coming up next, we've got 2A and an exciting matchup being played at River Road High School Panhandle, taking on Abernathy. we got a post-game interview with the winning coach. Don't go anywhere. You're watching the wrap-up.